Weibo Public Schools is a rural school. It's very small. We have 66 students from 7th through 12th grade. Overall, we have about 120 students from K to 12. I think the challenge that uh, Weibo has been facing with their breakfast program is uh, the cafeteria is two blocks away at the elementary school and a lot of students just don't feel like to uh, they want to walk there and then walk back especially in the cold of winter. Some of the hunger issues I saw in my classroom that I really related to being hungry students were half asleep, um, wanting to fall asleep, fidgety, um, kind of anxious. Uh, that was all before the grab and go program started. As we first started the program, one of the biggest challenges was where should we put it? Um, since I was one of the people that helped dream this up, it is now in my office. As the district clerk and the business manager, I don't get to have a direct interaction with the students. Having the grab and go breakfast program come through my office is a nice way for me to have that one-on-one -on -one time with students each day. I think it has been a big hit. I really think the kids really like having that there available and it has increased our breakfast program by quite a bit. The benefits are they're, they're excited about it. It reminds them that, oh, I feel better when I eat. And it just perks them up. No one has their head laying on their desk anymore. They are more interacting with me in our discussions. So it's been a wonderful thing. I like the grab and go breakfast program because I, when I come to school I can just quickly get it instead of walking to the elementary school and getting it because during the winter no one wants to go and walk to get their breakfast. So if you're thinking about starting this program at your school, give it a chance. At first you might think, oh I just can't do that, I only have so many minutes in every class period, but give it a chance, give them the, maybe the first five minutes, let them eat have a quiet discussion starting out your lesson, maybe a small intro activity, and then get into your discussion. It does make a world of difference. When I missed breakfast, um, yeah, it was a little harder because, you know, it's, what, four or five hours until you get to eat lunch, so it's kind of a long day when you're hungry. <laughs>